We have a 1992 Ford 5.0 liter. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Remove the air intake and hoses. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. Disconnect the upper radiator hose. Loosen the fan bolts and remove the drive belt. It's a good idea to inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged that will hinder its reuse. Remove the fan clutch and set it into the shroud. Completely remove the pulley from the water pump and unbolt the fan shroud from the radiator. As you raise the fan and fan shroud out of the vehicle, be careful not to allow the fan clutch to damage the radiator. Disconnect the lower radiator hose and the belt tensioner. Remove the upper radiator hose. Be sure and capture any residual coolant. Remove the AC and power steering bracket and tie back out of the way. Remove the heater hose and bypass hose. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. Apply a light coat of gasket sealer to the block surface area. Place the water pump gasket onto the block and apply a light coat of sealer to the water pump. And install the pump into location. Tighten the water pump mounting bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Install the water pump bypass hose, heater hose, and upper radiator hose. Reattach the power steering and AC bracket. Reinstall the lower radiator hose. Inspect the fan clutch, making sure there's no oil leakage or loose bearing. Place the fan in the shroud and gently lower into place, making sure not to damage the radiator. Clean the inside surface of the water pump pulley. This will alleviate any imbalance condition that would cause a premature pump failure. Install the pulley and fan onto the water pump, hand tightening the bolt. Reinstall the tensioner pulley. With the drive belt installed, Finish tightening the water pump pulley bolt. Reattach the upper radiator hose and reinstall the intake hoses. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 